Timothy, 2 Timothy 1 and 8, which says, So never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord, and don't be ashamed of me either, even though I'm in prison for him. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. And today, I'm just grateful for God's will. I'm grateful for God's word. I'm grateful for my family and my friends and, you know, just another day, another opportunity to be here. Um, I want to read another another verse, which is the one that I had actually initially planned to read, but that one I, I overlooked it, but... 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7 says, This is why I remind you to fan into the flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Um, that particular verse is the one that I had planned on reading, but I, I completely forgot I was up in the middle of the night reading. Couldn't sleep, so I was still kind of tired now, but... Um, I had bookmarked both of them, but I guess the, the first one, let me speak on that first, is so funny because, um, well, Nikki is in here, you know, Nikki is, uh, is like my sister, you know, I don't know if I ever, ever explained a relationship to y'all, but, you know, me and her brother are actually business partners, and when, uh, he introduced us to Nikki, like, we just hit it off, and, you know, I, I told her about breakfast in the Bible and she just like really loves to, to come and listen to our, our replays when she is in here and, and she saves them and she shares them you know and um she always she always would would tell me like you know uh you know Karen we we we're rock stars for God and she would say you know we gotta you know we it's our mission to share the word of God you know what I mean and and I'll, I'll be the first to say sometimes I'd be like boy Nikki, I don't know what you're talking about because, you know, we just come to worship in the morning and, you know, like it's just, it, it's just become something for me that's been sort of, um, and I don't want to use the word repetitive because it really isn't because worshiping God isn't repetitive to me, but it's, it's something that it isn't a chore for me to worship God, you know, just something that I love to do, just something that I want to do every day is give God glory, honor, thanks and praise. Um, but at the same time, um, I've always been sort of a camera shy type of person. I'm not really, you know, the, the, the on stage public speaker kind of person. Like I've just not, I've just always been in the shadows. It's always, you know, and, um, she, she isn't ashamed to tell her people about the Lord, you know, and it was, um, there's something in this particular verse in second Timothy one and eight where. Paul was telling that to Timothy, like, never be ashamed to tell others about the Lord, you know what I mean? Like, because um, people need to hear it, you know, people need to hear the good word. And, and, you know, it doesn't matter what circles you run in and whether people want to hear it or not. It's like, it's, it's ways that you could be subtle about it, you know what I mean? And, you know, just give people these gentle nudges, these gentle reminders, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people may not have the, the faith that we have. You know, but a lot of times there's things that God takes them through that they don't even take notice of it. And only re the only reason that we notice is because we are Christians. You understand? And we know and we believe in the things that our God does for us. We know that he is the one that takes us through all things. We know that he is the creator, you know, that he brings all the good. And we also know that if we go through something bad, that's a part of his intricate plan, you know? And sometimes it's our it's our mantle it's what god has given us to to spread that word the voice that he gave us this morning you know the energy that he put in our spirit and you know that's why i'm now going to speak about second timothy 1 6 through 7 i'm going to read it again so people could in case you forgot what it said and it says this is why i remind you to fan into the flames the spiritual gift god gave you when i laid my hands on you for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. And I don't know who needed to hear this this morning, but remember, remember this. And I'm going to repeat this one part of it again. For God has not given you a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 
See, listen to me. The last part of this is very important, you know. You see that spirit of self-discipline? That spirit of self-discipline is a serious thing. That spirit of self-discipline is what's going to lead you into your destiny. The spirit of self-discipline is what's going to lead you into your purpose. Like, you need that just as much as you need love, you know. But you see, when you realize, and these all connect, right? <laughs> when you realize how much God loves you, he can want you to be disciplined to do and pay back the same love that he gave to you. It's the discipline in it, you know. When you realize that God, you have not, God is behind you and God walks with you and you don't have nothing to fear, this can give you the discipline to walk through any door with the confidence that you need. When you realize that God ain't put that spirit inside you of fear and being timid, you can walk into a room and you can tell people, praise Jesus. Thank God I'm here this morning. God is good. Because at the end of the day, you walk in with this thing called confidence. You walk in with a, it's like, it's like a cloak. It's like, it's like, it's like something that God wraps around you every day when you wake up and you know within yourself that when you walk into a room, that you walk in there with the power of the almighty God behind you. When you ask for something, you know that God can give it to you. And see, it's the discipline of doing the things that we do every day. The discipline in worship. The discipline in seeing somebody and reminding them, hey man, listen, God love me, you know. The discipline to walk away when somebody trying to provoke and bring the enemy into your realm. It's the discipline of just being able to say, listen, I need to pay my dads. It's the discipline of just being able to say, hey, there's $10 in my pocket. This person hungry. You could have five. I can keep five. It's the discipline of just knowing that at the end of the day, you have a purpose on this planet. And God put it in you from the day you was born. But he knew that it was in you for centuries before you was born because you were part of something bigger. And it's a discipline in knowing that I can work towards something bigger every day of my life. Thank you everyone for the opportunity to speak. I'm Gary and I relinquish my mic.